this is the new area i am going to talk with you so we are going to talk about the semiconductor devices and their applications where it is used so we will look into the semiconductor devices and applications now I'm trying to show you the vacuum tubes. It's really awesome, right? Okay. So in years before the Second World War, vacuum tubes are used in the process of electrical signal generation, amplification, and also for transmission. After the invention of a transistor in 1944 and subsequent improvement of the transistor and other solid state electronic devices came. So vacuum tubes were replaced by these solid state devices in many fields of applications. A solid state device is an electronic device mainly consists of semiconducting material. What is semiconductor? You can see this kind of semiconductors in your motherboard, in your computer. So in terms of semiconductor, it has been observed that a certain metals like germanium, silicon will be having resistivity between good conductors like copper and insulators like glass. These materials are referred to as semiconductors. The semiconductor is a solid substance that has a conductivity between that of an insulator and that of most metals either due to the addition of an impurity or because of temperature efforts that's referred to as semiconductor the resistivity of the semiconductor lies approximately between 10 power minus 2 and 10 power 4 ohm meter at room temperature here is the temperature and you are able to see the resistance here once the temperature increases, the resistance starts decreasing. This is the depicted in this graph. This behavior is contrary to that of your metallic conductor for which the resistance increases with increase in temperature. The elements that are classified as semiconductors, the typical examples of silicon and germanium so germanium and silicon are mostly widely used semiconductors 